Okay, this is the dollar bill angelfish. We're going to start out in kind of a classic paper airplane mode. We're going to fold it in half exactly lengthwise. Put a sharp crease in it. Unfold it. Continue in our paper airplane style. We're going to fold both sides in, creating a nice even triangle. We want them to meet in the center, but not really overlap. And then put good sharp creases on it. Kind of like any good paper airplane starts out. Next thing we're going to do is flip the whole thing over. And now we're going to fold a line from this point here. And we're going to fold in to our center crease, which we can still see from the beginning step. So take this crease here, fold a line into the center. It's also kind of like a paper airplane, but you're doing it to the opposite side that you would normally be doing. Just like that. Then we're going to make the other side come down and beat it. Now when you're doing this at home, you're probably not going to want to go as fast as I need to to make this video interesting. But going to want to spend some time on each step making your creases sharp. So once you've done that, just go ahead, kind of lift it up, and unfold those pieces that are under there. So now you have something that looks kind of like this. Dollar bill with kind of a square at the end. Now we're going to flip it back over again. Take this side here. And the goal is to fold it directly in half. Now if you made good sharp creases in the first steps, it should fairly easily divide itself into a nice triangle. So once you got that where you want it, go ahead and crease that off. That's going to be the basis of the tail for our angelfish. The next step is to take this side of the dollar bill and fold it to this point right here. Not to overlap it, but just kind of to touch it. So your best bet is to line those up. Keep an eye down here. You want this to be straight. So watch those sides. If they're even on top and bottom, it's straight points touch the line right here, crease it. So now we have this. Next, we're going to take the top corner and fold it down once again, sort of like a paper airplane to the middle crease. Now, I actually like to come slightly over the middle crease. It's kind of a personal preference. You can change this later. I'll show you how it works at the end. So we're going to sharpen that up. Then in the bottom, we're going to need to come from this corner, kind of to a point right in here. We're going to leave kind of a snub nose on this fish, kind of square. So you don't want to come all the way up. So put your finger down about where you want it. Start to fold it. Do the same thing over in the corner. Start to fold that right through the center and then crease it. Now, believe it or not, this is basically your fish. So we're going to flip it over. And there you have it. One little fish. Now, where I folded over the halfway point, that makes this top dorsal fin. And if you hadn't folded it in as much as I did, it'd be a taller fin. I think it looks better this way. I'd like to give everything a nice sharp crease. There you have a quick and easy angelfish.